Let's create a new character now that we've set up the scene. For this video, we're going to create two different types of first person characters. The first character that we create will be just a basic character that has no body. And then the second character that we create will be a first person character that has a body, also known as full body awareness in the first person world. So to get started, let's go ahead and go to the tools opposite ultimate character controller, character manager menu option. You can see when this window opens up that we have just kind of the basic configuration settings for a new character. If you want to see example configuration, and that will go to our documentation page, which has a bunch of different example configurations for creating a new character. We're going to go through these fields though, and the first field that we want to go through is the character field. We're going to leave that blank because we want just a basic character that has no model associated with it. Under perspective, we're going to leave that as a first person perspective and first person movement type should be set to combat. The combat movement type is pretty much what you would expect from a first person view where W is forward, A and D strafe, and S is backwards. We are going to deselect animator because we do not want the character to have any animator. And I'm going to hit build character. We'll go through these other options in the next part of the video. You can see after I hit build character, we have a basic capsule collider that was created. Um, let me drag that out. And now when I hit play, I'll leave it selected. But now when I hit play, we should be able to move around in the scene just with this basic setup. So yeah, so that, so that looks good. I can do my basic first person movements now. Um, you'll notice that there was a warning that appeared. And that warning says that no character has been assigned to the camera controller, it will automatically be assigned. That doesn't hurt anything, but if we want to get rid of that warning, we can just assign the character to the camera controller. So now when I hit play, we will see that the warning disappears. So yeah, that, so that looks good. So that's the basic setup for a first person character that has no body. Let's clear this out and get it ready for a character that will have a body. So I'm dragging the character manager back in and under the character field, we do want to fill this in now. So I'm going to take this Atlas model and drag it in. And we can see that the animator is now force selected. So that's good. Character model one specifies which character model we want to use as the first character model. A single character can switch between multiple models and you would just uh, input each model here or specify each model under each model field. Any of the indented fields that are underneath the model field uh, pertain to that model. So this first field, the model type, uh, we are working with a humanoid model type because Atlas is a humanoid character. So that looks good. The animator controller is demo, and that's the animator controller that is included with the demo scene. It's a humanoid animator controller, so, so that's good. Under first person arms, we want to fill that in to these first person arms. And you can see that I, when, after dragging them in, we have these two arms right here. I'm going to drag that value to the arms. Um, the first person view kind of does the typical uh, first person setup where the arms are separate from the body. And this allows these arms to be parented to the camera. The humanoid arms uh, right here and the head get hidden. And this kind of just gives a nice professional feel to it. So the arms are separate right there. We are going to now specify the animator controller for those arms. And we have the first person arms demo animator controller. Under third person objects, we want to specify the head and the arms. These are the objects that will get hidden when you are in a first person view. Uh, the item slots specify the location that the items should be parented to. You can see that by default, it selected the left and the right hand, and that's coming from this Atlas model. When I click adjust slots, um, we can modify those values, and then we can also add new values. So I'm going to add the left and the right hands of the first person arms. So I'll just drill down a bit.
and we added the left and the right hands. So, so that looks good now. Character model two, we're leaving empty. Template character is an extremely useful field and it allows you to copy the values out of or from an existing character. And this makes setup extremely quick if you want the same values as an existing character. We're gonna leave that empty though because we want to create a new character from scratch. Standard abilities, we're gonna leave selected and that will give us our standard abilities, the jumping, falling, sliding. AI agent will be deselected and we, just because we do not want this character to be AI controlled. Nav mesh agent will also be deselected de because we don't want a nav mesh to be added to the character or a nav mesh agent component to be added to the character. Items we are gonna leave enabled because we want the character to be able to carry items. The item collection and item set rule, uh, those will be left at their defaults. Uh, we'll go through this in another video. We're gonna leave health, unity IK, foot effects, and ragdoll enabled. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory, but foot effects just allows the surface system to play different effects when the foot touches the ground. So for example, you could play a sound effect or you could spawn a footprint or something similar to that. So I'm gonna hit build character now, and this will set up our character. And you'll notice now the character does not have visible arms and a visible head, and that's because of the uh, third person objects that were specified. And then if we open up this game object, we can see that the arms are now underneath these first person game object. So now I'm gonna hit play, and we should be able to move around. So yeah, that looks good. Um, you'll notice if I look at the shadow, even though the head and the arms are hidden in the scene view, in the game view, we, we do have a shadow for the head and the arms. So all that looks good. The first person arms are not equipped because we don't have an item equipped and that will be saved for a later video. So that's all it takes to set up a new first person character.